Well, at this rate, why would you? Just playing into their hands. He goes big on this occasion. Has he got all of it? He has. And it's almost a brilliant save on the boundary. Wahab Riaz has already saved a four. This over can't manage to save the six. Alan said that he caressed that delivery when he stopped it at the boundary. This time he tries to punch it back into play. Look at this. He almost slaps it back, trying to slap it back into play. Good netballer at the net. Well, leg line once again. Potentially could have gone for back-to-back -back sixes, but... Gale on the charge on this occasion, and finally he finds a boundary. Well, he's uh, been a sleeping giant. He's been fast asleep, the giant. Has he awoken from his slumber? Will this now ignite... Whatever is ticking inside Chris Gale, is it now going to change? Good comeback from Freddy. So it gets Pollard on strike. So that's not a bad start to the over. Down so much, but we look at these two in there. Some of the most powerful batters in world cricket. You just think they may do it. Huge. Just for you, Uncle Alan, Chris Gale comes to the party. Well, he can do this and can surprise everyone with an absolute monster. That is massive. Another cash drop in the crowd. Yeah, it brings the 50 up for the Kings as well. Well, the bouncer and Gale goes again. Yes, back to back. Has he awoken? Here we go. Shy the Freezy annoyed. Comes up with a fast bouncer and Chris Gale. Flat backs him, pulls him. Again in the crowd, another drop. I wonder what went through Afridi's mind with this delivery. And that huge bat has suddenly woken up. That's brought up the 247 6, the same as last year. Can he go three in a row? No, he can't. He can't get it through either. 18 from it. A good one for the Kings. 59 for four.